from Warhammer 40k, the Paragon Warsuits are the Adeptus Sororitas' heavy infantry, carrying heavy firepower and massive close combat weapons into battle. Have Joy Toy successfully brought over the ultimate nun with guns into action figure four? Shut up and sit down. Hey you skellywags. So I've had this in for quite a while, uh, the Order of Our Martyred Lady Paragon Warsuit, Sister Adita. It's available online now for a very decent price. So is it worth you picking up? So this is Sister Adita with everything you'll get in the box, minus her unhelmeted head. So let's take a closer look at all the details. Floodly up here. On her head, this floodly is slightly misaligned. Got guns up here. Metal joints for the elbows. Lovely looking figure. Softer plastic here. Multi melter. And this hand. Power sword. See all these wirings and stuff. Metal joints at the knees. And at the ankles as well. So much going on here. Nice soft plastic for these wirings and stuff. I used this. And there's the back. Articulation, the head moves around on a double barbell joint. There's articulation here for the pauldrons on the ball. On it moves up and about. This one's a bit hindered. Doesn't move around like the other. So you get underneath. For some reason, just doesn't have the same range as the right side. The arm goes up all the way over 90. Expecting further, there is a double barbell metal joint which gives it a load of range. There's a twist up there as well. Very generous. Single bend goes over 90 for the multi melter arm, and there is a twist at this metal joint as well. Her puny human arm has double jointed elbow and there is a double barbell at the top of the arm giving a movement ball joint at the wrist and this is a softer plastic this part here which is kind of like a mechanical bit but allows it to move along with the articulation of the human arm this right robot arm can go back like that for no reason and the bend is less than 90 which is why it's good this wrist can go up a bit more than normal and twist and go down there movement here at the torso Let's see how it works there I think it's supposed to give us the illusion that there is a full bodied nun inside beneath here this moves about this front bit. Back here too. Can pop off. It's only really a bit of glue that keeps that together. This side armoring will hinder Jean Claude. If you really look into the hip articulation, it will break the illusion that there is a nun actually in there. There's a metal joint that allows for drop down. So the leg can move around a bit more. The thigh twist is sort of behind the thigh. It's a bit different to normal, as you can see there. How that works. Just behind the thigh. Go up there. Back there. Very good. Single bend, just under 90. Up, down for the foot. Pivot there. There's no toe. 
It's also just a little twist below the knee where the metal joint is. Unhelmeted head. Look at those bushy brows. And those bangs are cut to really show off those caterpillars. Doesn't look as good as some of the other unhelmeted Sisters of Battle heads, but looks just like the mini. Here with Sister Noyal. Doesn't really uh, look as good as that. We put it on this body. Sits a bit higher due to a longer neck joint, but still works. Still have her on, on one of these bodies and yeah, it'll work just fine. Might be a bit of a struggle to get this head out of this tiny um, section here. Eh. Get this one in. So this is Noyal's head. She goes in. And just get her up there. Yeah, kind of works. But the uh, shorter neck, I think it's come off. Shorter neck means it sits just a bit lower than the normal one it comes with. You get this helmeted head on the normal body, and again, sits a bit higher. There is comparison. It can still work if you want to use this uh, on one of your sisters. See, in comparison, the neck joint is a bit longer. Let's get Sister Adita's questionable unhelmeted head on. and It fits like it should. Let's do some comparisons. Primark of the Ultramarines, Rebute Gilliman. Also from the Ultramarines, a Terminator. Space Marine in Terminator armor. Aryak Rockfist of the Space Wolves. And randomly, SH Figure Arts Bardock, which is like a 6 inch figure. Just for, uh, yeah, comparisons. And for lols. And with a couple of her sisters. So I like that she's scaled as if there is an actual 4 inch figure inside her. Oh, sounds wrong. Here's the stanchion of the Imagine Fire, which is still huge. It would actually probably work well with uh, Sister Adita here. So should you pick up a Paragon Warsuit, I say the yay, especially if you're a fan of nuns with guns. This will work perfectly in your collection. And uh, there are a few different versions available at a good price right now, so check online. Be sure to check the links in my description for money off on JoyToy products, uh, affiliate links, etc. all that. If you like this video, click the thumbs up. For more content, subscribe. And I'll scale you later.